Hello my kinder art friends. I am working from home this week, so my video might look a little bit different, but today we're going to be finishing our project that we started before Christmas break. It's all about Ted Harrison. Remember, Ted Harrison is a Canadian artist who painted these beautiful abstract landscapes. Remember, abstract art doesn't have to look real. And he uses warm colors like reds, oranges, and yellows, and cool colors like blues, greens, and purples in the sky and puts them right next to each other using these squiggly lines. So we painted our sky last time, and so now today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a collage. So we're going to add pieces of paper on top of our sky to collage them together to make the land for our landscape. And when we're doing this, we wanna keep in mind space. Remember, things that are closer to you are bigger and they're in the foreground, which means front. And things that get farther away get smaller and smaller and smaller. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up our landscapes today. So let's get started. Okay, friends, so I have my background that I painted like Ted Harrison from last time. And so now today we're going to create our landscape and we're making a wintry landscape. So our ground is gonna be snowy white. So we're gonna get an extra white sheet of paper and you can either cut or tear your paper to collage it on top to create our landscape. I'm gonna tear my paper, so I think I want it about right here, and I'm gonna tear a curved line almost all the way. So I have the front of my landscape, which is called the foreground, and so that's gonna be right here, and I also need to make the middle ground, which is gonna go behind it. So I'm going to use this paper, I'm going to tear a piece here. And I'll trim it on the bottom with my scissors to make it fit. So I'm going to put the, the middle ground behind it and line it up with the bottom. And then I'm gonna get my foreground and line it up on top. So you can see they're overlapping and the foreground is in front. And we're going to glue them down. So I'm gonna glue my middle ground first, making sure we put glue all around the edge and lining it up as best we can with our background. Give it a nice little rub so it sticks. And then I'll glue my foreground on top. Boop. I like tearing it because it gives us this like bumpy raw edge that kind of looks like snow. I'm gonna trim this right here so it's the right size. Boop. Awesome. So, oh, I lost my glue cap. <laughs> So now we have our foreground and our middle ground and then our sky is gonna be our background. And we can get a black marker or we can even get some extra construction paper and we can cut and draw shapes. I'm gonna draw some trees. So the trees in the middle ground are going to be smaller because it's farther away. So to make my trees, I'm just gonna make a line and then I'm gonna repeat a curved line coming down. And I'm gonna draw them all over. Some will be a little bit taller or bigger than others. Because they're in the middle ground, they're a little bit smaller. So the ones in the foreground are gonna be bigger because they're closer to you. So they can be bigger and even go into the sky. And we can repeat our lines to make our trees. And I want to make them of different heights. And our winter landscape is complete. 
you can add extra details. You can draw like a house or you can cut out extra details and put them in here. But the main thing is our foreground is the front and so it's the closest to you so the items are bigger. Our middle ground is further away so our items are going to be smaller, okay? So I hope you guys have so much fun making your landscapes. I can't wait to see what they look like. Happy creating.